It's time for Did You Watch It? How does this show work? We watch what we like, we talk about what we watch, and maybe you'll like what you hear. I'm Liz. I'm Isabel. And I'm Neil. Last night, we watched episode four of Bachelor in Paradise. The show aired on Monday, August 25th, 2014. Here's what we thought about it. Got some outstanding issues from last week. First, we have Chris's knee, which was his reason for leaving the show. Right. Right? I went back and I watched because I wanted to make sure that I saw what I saw. Of course. Mm -hmm. The medic comes and he sprays that icy spray thing. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? He sprayed his right knee. Okay. And the medic wrapped the bandage and the big old bag of ice Mm -hmm. around his right knee. Okay. Right knee. Okay. When Elise came by and they were getting ready to go on their date and he was walking down the stairs, he was keeping his left knee straight and bending his right knee. Stop it. When he entered the airplane, he was favoring his left knee. Oh, that's right. He was using the right knee to start climbing up. Using the right knee to get himself up the stairs. Yes. And then when he went to the hospital, they put the cast on his right leg. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. So you I call t- BS. You've totally outed the whole situation. Yes, I did. You are the fact finder, man. This week's drama queens... Once again, Claire was big balling this week. And Michelle made a very interesting appearance in the night sky. Michelle, I just want to know if she's ever going to stop crying. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) I'm glad you said it before I did. Oh, my God. I love Michelle Money, and I don't remember her being this emotional. Yeah, nice. I am tired of seeing her cry. I'm just saying. It's unbelievable. It was like, I'm crying because I'm happy. I'm crying because I'm sad. I'm crying because I'm touched. I'm crying because I'm mad. Yeah. (laughs) Is that the only emotion we have? After the rose ceremony, Robert got the date card. Yes. Sarah had just given him the rose. Of course, Robert chose Sarah. Of course. Of course. Okay, where does Michelle go? Michelle takes the Ashley route and goes up, and she's like, I have to dab my eyes. Maybe she wants people to pity her a bit. You know, she wants the sympathy from everyone else in the house. But why are we pitying her? Okay, she's been on Bachelor. She's been on Bachelor Pad twice. That's true. Now she's back on Bachelor in Paradise. A free vacation, for God's sake. Echoing Isabel, doesn't she know how this process works? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) She knows what she signed up for, right? Oh, gosh. Note to Sarah, you got to be careful who does your hair, girl. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just saying, it it was too close. That was was way too close. Just a bad move. I mean, of all things. Well, everyone's going to Michelle for their hair. Yeah, she didn't hurt it, but damn. This whole imaginary relationship that Michelle had with Robert. Right. (laughs) First of all, it's the problem. (laughs) Yes, and imaginary then, is the key word. Yes, but yeah. I certainly wouldn't go to that person who has an imaginary relationship with the guy I'm about to go out with to ask him to do my hair or makeup, by the way, because both would be atrocious. She didn't look completely horrible. No. No, but it was just torture. <laughs> Yeah. But do you really put yourself in that situation? No. Voluntarily. Liz would not. Yeah. See, I know I know I wouldn't. <laughs> Sarah gave him the rose, and he's obviously not interested in her as more than just a friend. Yeah, move on. Yeah. That's what I say. Exactly. So we got to take a little quick trip to visit Marcus and Lacey. Yes. Okay. 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 <laughs> Note to Marcus, once you say I love you, you oh can't take God. it back. No, that you can't. That was so awkward. You know, it's like, the, I love you squeaked out, and he caught himself, and he verbally, and you could hear, it's like, oh, shit, I oh. said it. Wait, <laughs> I like you. I'm taking with you. Okay. I enjoy spending time with you. And it's like, boy, you can't ratchet it, it back. It was no. terrible. Did he think she didn't hear it? No, no, she heard it, and she wanted to hear it, too. Did you see her face light up like, <gasps> yes, <gasps> he said it. <laughs> I'm blinded by those teeth. What do you mean? Do I see her face light up? (laughs) (laughs) Nice. 
So I guess, what, didn't they start talking about feelings, you know, not being scared away? And Marcus said something along the lines, like, my feelings scared the last person away. Yes. And as soon as he said that, I just started laughing to myself. I was saying, I'm thinking, no, Marcus, it's not <laughs> your feelings. It's your clinginess that sent Andy <laughs> running for the yeah, hills. Yeah, really. Because so. a girl's got to breathe. Well, my first thought was, was there another last girl besides Andy? Oh, I'm sure there had to be other women because didn't his sister say he jumps into it really fast or something to that extent? Yes. Yes, she did. But let's not forget the lie detector test. Remember the question? More than 20? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> last month. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. It doesn't really matter the number, but yeah, it depends on the time frame. Are we talking like within a year, within six months? You know, I wouldn't be surprised, Neil, if you said it was the last month that 20 women like ran away because like one from one girl to the next. I yeah. love you. Now, I'm just looking for love. I'm very confident that none of them came within like six inches of him. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't. Where are you going with what that? exactly do yeah, you, what do you mean, mean by that? Well, just the fantasy that he conjured in his mind about, you know, these 20 women. Oh, like the oh. made-up relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's like I close my eyes and I travel to that wonderful land of relationship bliss. <laughs> and I just imagine that she's with me. Oh. And we're walking along the beach. And looking at candles. And looking at candles. <laughs> and we're looking at candles. <laughs> You can't do it without the voice. I'm just looking for love. I just want love. Yeah, I'm just looking for love. Cody, Claire, and Zach. Oh, oh goodness. Okay, so I was really excited to see Cody because I love Cody. When we talked about him in The Bachelorette, our first impression was meathead. Meathead. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Izzy, you coined yep. the term, what is it, about the spray tan? An Oompa yeah. Loompa, yes, the spray tan. It was just too dark. <laughs> It was too much, nice. right? It was so too much. Nice. That was our first impression. But as we got to know him, we kind of see the sweet Cody that we started to like. Absolutely. Right? Okay. We did. I feel like this whole show up and this whole declaration for Claire was vintage Cody. He looked a little Stretch Armstrong to me. <laughs> <laughs> Showing those muscles like, woo, check this out. He comes in and... Hey, Claire, I really want to go with you on this date because I saw you on Juan Pablo's season and really got to like you and everything else. Okay, here's Claire. Hey, oh, this is <laughs> Right? <laughs> I'll get you, girl. So there's a, ooh, can I talk to you for a second over there? And so Cody and Claire go over there. She talks to Cody and Cody talks to her. Says, oh, you know, the, well, I'm kind of with somebody. Ah, let me get back to you. And so she goes over to Zach. Oh, yeah, but Cody kept pushing, though. Uh, Cody kept pushing because he knows what he wants. There's no problem with that. But as soon as a girl says, well, I am starting to see someone, let her finish. She goes, oh, but I really want to get to know you. It's like, I just told you. <laughs> it's not an obstacle to get over. But he also knew that it had been a very short time. That what had been a very short time? That she'd been with Zach because they hadn't been there that long. Just a matter of days. Thank you very much. Right? So then if that's the case, why when she got back over to Zach and Zach didn't say, oh, no, you're not going out with him. You're with me and everything. She got all ticked off. Well, oh, God, I don't have an answer for that. This was all just kind of crazy, basically. So yes, it is. She wanted him to stick up for her, right? If I have not seen it played out in real life, I wouldn't react to it as strongly as I am. But I have seen it play out far too many times. <laughs> you know, to not recognize this as a norm. I can't defend it. I'm just saying I understand it. Well, okay, then please explain it to me. I just did. She kind of wanted him to say, you know, don't go out with him because I really want to be with just you, right? Then, to quote Nancy Reagan, just say no. <laughs> <laughs> because he didn't. He said, uh, it depends on the scenario. Now, that's not something a girl wants to hear. Well, actually, no. He said it's cool if she wanted to go on the date. That's what he said. But then Claire, instead of just, just making that decision like, okay, fine, I'll just go on the date or no, whatever she wants to do. 
Then she throws it back to Zach with this, well, if you were in my shoes, what would you do? And Zach dug himself in a hole basically when said, well, it depends on who it is. You cannot dig yourself in a hole if somebody else has got the shovel. Well, Claire was setting it up for him and he just kind of jumped in the hole basically. Yeah, exactly. But it's almost as if she's just playing a game with him. And if she hadn't asked that question, they wouldn't have gotten into this situation. Which means that the cameras wouldn't have been on them for the rest of the show. That's true. And the whole fact that then Claire's going going on and on about how he, Zach is wishy-washy. I'm thinking, well, holy crap, girl, what do you want him to say? <laughs> <laughs> It's like she was hoping with like some sort of telepathy that she would just kind of say, just say I shouldn't go. Say I shouldn't go. It's like if you can't make up your own mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She just wanted some kind of proclamation because Cody made a proclamation. Yeah, but after what? Three days together? Four days of that? Thank you. Did we say this was realistic? (laughs) No, but (laughs) does she know what she signed up for? Yeah, no to Claire. If you don't want to go on a date, say no. And say, I don't want to go on a date. I know. Okay? Don't basically put it on him Mm -hmm. to say that you can't go on the date. Because he explicitly said, I don't want to tell you that you can't go. Because nobody tells Claire what to do. Yeah. We've established that back in January. With Juan Pablo, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. So he was screwed anyway, you look at it. That is true. Yeah, I don't think he could have come out either way with a good choice. No. point especially as much as she was waffling you know she was waffling like a las vegas i hop on mother's day (laughs) Uh, yeah note to zach run forest run how do you pronounce his name kalen 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 oh my gosh kalen okay kalen this fool all i got to say is this fool makes ben s and chris look like altar boys exactly (laughs) And that's okay. what everybody thinks because he is basically a really bad dude. He's he's wrongish. I'm okay. just saying, ooh, Michelle looking so fine. I could motorboat that sh- Oh, <laughs> my, like, God. oh yes. my God. Oh. When he was like the zip lining to Michelle's boobs. So inappropriate. Kalen was on Emily's season of The Bachelorette. Right? Yes. Emily has a daughter, Ricky. Yes. Who was six years old at the time. Yes, she was. Kaylin apparently didn't find out that Ricky existed until after he got into the mansion. It was so bad. So he made a comment to one of the guys referring to Emily's daughter as baggage. Yes. Now, I don't now this conversation was never caught on captured on camera. It was, was never it? right. Okay. It was never broadcast, but it was mentioned later on. Eventually the comment got back to Emily and she confronted Kaylin about it. Mm-hmm. Kaylin didn't apologize for the statement. But he did say that it was taken out of context. Yes. She then told him to get the f*** out. <laughs> she did. <laughs> she did. And then repeated one of his lines to him, basically saying, I'd love to hear you talk, but not until I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> he said it to her. He was such a chump. After he was eliminated, he tweeted a picture of a baggage claim ticket with the caption, thought for sure I'd see Emily Maynard here. Well, when he was going on about how he has tunnel vision for 5'10 with some boobs, and I'm thinking, oh, my gosh. oh, wow. And so as he keeps talking, when they show him in his, you know, in the moment deal, I thought, okay, well, obviously he's he's like a frat boy who never grew up. Yeah, he probably just an asshole. So he's he sidles up next to Michelle. Now, Michelle knows him. <sighs> And Michelle has a daughter. Yes. And Michelle and Emily are friends. Yes. All right. Why did Michelle say yes? I don't know. Desperado. Yeah. She even said it. She goes, I made a mistake. Yeah. We all saw that. The next morning, she decides to renege and say, I can't go on this date with you. See ya. Which was a wise move on her part. Absolutely. Yep. Kaylin <laughs> goes to Jackie. And Sarah. And asks Jackie if she wants to go. Jackie says no. Yep. Ask Sarah if she wants to go. Sarah says no. Yep. It's pretty bad when three women in a row reject you. So Kaylin decides that he's going to go on a one-on-none date. Because that's the only company that could stand him. I know. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> self-admitted. If you're admitting it to yourself. It's pretty bad. So then after Kalen is enjoying his own company, Jesse shows up. Jesse from Jillian season, right? Yeah. He he was not a favorite of mine. All I know is I needed a shower after I saw Jesse. He's slimy. I felt violated. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was just disgusting. Yeah, even Kalen wasn't that bad because he was kind of just out with it. You know, hey, I'm an asshole. He he was just he was owning. He was owning his assholiness. Yes, yes he was. Jesse was trying to keep it under wraps, kind of like, oh, I'm a good guy. So he asked Jackie on a date. She says, fine. She didn't go talk to Markel about it, which I thought was funny, which is fine with me. And she fell for everything that he said, hook, line, and sinker. She did. No, the- no, 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 no. Okay, no to Isabel. You see what I told you? Just let him talk. Yep. <laughs> That's true. That's true. He was so full of it. Genetics ain't the only reason his eyes are brown. I'm just saying. (laughs) He was so schmoozy. It seriously made me want to throw up. He's not even worth any further mention because we already know his game. And Well, I will laugh. I will laugh. Jackie asked Jesse if he was strategizing and he kind of, uh, I know. And she, yeah. then she just believed him, which well, I, I we totally don't, know don't that get. She, believe, she didn't believe him because she didn't break the rule. Now that's true. She didn't kiss him. She didn't break the rule. My money's still on Markel. We'll see what happens. We'll see yeah. what happens. Which leads us <sighs> to the main event. Uh... Ashley and Claire. Ashley's dumbass is sitting in a hammock <laughs> talking to Zach. <laughs> On a show with a bunch of cameras thinking she has privacy. Yeah. <laughs> really? Mm-mm-mm. Girl is crazy. She's cray-cray. She actually referred to Claire as cuckoo. Pot, meat, kettle. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. So what? Basically, she was telling uh, Zach, you know, you got to be careful with Claire. You know, you don't want to be tied down. You should meet other people. Well, hey, I will give props to Zach when he said, you know, I really don't care about anything that happened during Claire's appearance on Juan Pablo season. Yeah. So there's a saying in Spanish, lo que pasó antes de tu año no te hace daño. So basically, what happens before you meet someone should have no bearing on the relationship with the person when you meet them. Can you do me a favor? What's that? Can you say it again, but slower? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Note to Lacey, you need to work on your inside voice. Oh, because you can hear her through the door. And and by inside, I mean your volume when you're supposedly whispering in the Bachelor confessional loud enough for them to be able to add subtitles on the screen. Here's the thing. I had to laugh because as soon as they have, you know, Ashley goes on this little tirade, this little thing with Zach. And then she says, well, it's not going to get caught on camera. And Zach's like, uh, well, yeah, there's cameras. There's one right over there. And all of a sudden, Ashley goes into damage control. Oh, yeah. That was funny as crap. It was. I was like, oh, you got caught. She was not expecting that at all. No. she was. And that's what she gets. Yeah. At some point, I heard Zach say that he's not a drama guy or something to that extent. Yes. Yeah. So if he's not a drama guy, why didn't he just tell Ashley to stop talking about Claire? I think he just meant that he doesn't like all that stuff. He doesn't like to get involved with girls who are just really pulled into the drama factor. Okay. Right. Once again, a situation where he just can't win. Typically, what you'd tell Ashley, shut it up. But, you know, can't say that. True. So just let her talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just don't give her any kind of... Credibility, no response. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Maybe she'll just flit about. There you go. (laughs) Well, when they cut to Claire pulling out the knife. Yeah. (laughs) With that little extra sound effect there. And you can hear the sound effect. Like a sword. It's like, oh my God. What happened with that knife? Was she cutting up vegetables? What was she doing? Yeah, she was probably helping with dinner. She was going to cut up some vegetables. And it was probably like from two nights ago. (laughs) Right? Claire Crowley, the fifth musketeer. Claire just kind of shut her down. But I just laughed as she goes, can we hug it out? Claire's Uh. like, yeah, not really. (laughs) No. Oh, wait, she said, can we hug it out? Yeah, can we hug it out? Yeah, she did. (laughs) Claire was like, Oh, that was funny. And I would have been like, okay, you just said that about me? No, we can't hug it out. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) hug this. (laughs) (laughs) give me a minute man i gotta process and then ashley runs away and says what a bitch under her breath basically but yeah i knew that ashley had to fall on her sword Mm -hmm. and just take the zero because you know fifth musketeer so yeah that's true well ashley gets another flippy for that whole performance (laughs) 
for Ashley, I understand the flippy because, you know, Claire has cutlery. Mm -hmm. so. I know, but she's saying to her, oh, I didn't mean to say that. And what do you mean you didn't mean to say it? You said it. You, yeah, course. you had every intention of going yeah. on and on and saying, oh, it's not going to get caught on camera. And exactly. the minute it does, right. flip. Oh, my God, I didn't mean to say it. But she's not it. a flippy. She's just a damn liar. That's, yeah, that's true. Is. That's true. <laughs> right? That's true. But sometimes you got to lie to save your life because, once again, Claire has cutlery. We're at the rose ceremony. Obvious choices. Lacey chose Marcus. And that was really the only obvious choice because Claire was... I thought for a quick second that she might just take Cody. Yeah. <laughs> You know. No, she decided she's going to commit to Zach for now and see where it goes. She's going to give it a try. Yes. Anyways. And she chose Zach. But then Ashley offers the rose to Graham. Graham walks off the set. Bye-bye. Yeah. What did you think about the whole fact that Ashley didn't say anything to Graham about what had gone on at all? She's on damage control. Yeah. She's like a little kitty cat trying to cover her poop. <laughs> <laughs> okay but did she honestly think no one would tell graham or that graham wouldn't somehow find out exactly and considering michelle's friendship with graham mm -hmm. of course she would tell him of course they're like best buds graham walks off michelle runs after him well michelle gives him a, a minute and then she goes to check on him and then what do we get on the screen dun 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 to be continued it's uh. like this ain't Criminal Minds. I know? know, I know. This isn't some season finale cliffhanger. I, I gotta <laughs> it's tell like, you. It's like, you know, to be continued. It's like the damn thing's coming on tomorrow. I know. The only thing, the only thing that I'm looking forward to on this, epi this episode coming up is that Lucy's coming. <laughs> Naked Wait, Lucy. who's Lucy? Naked Lucy. Okay, what season was she from? She's from Juan Pablo. Oh, okay. See, I didn't watch that season at all. Yeah, yeah. Cause she just she just hates the clothing. Oh, she's some like hippie dippy chick. Yes. Well, you could say that. She's, she's a free spirit. She's oh, very yes, free spirited. <laughs> the body is beautiful. We're all yes, made exactly. in the goddess's image or something. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. See, Flowers in her hair. If you see the black rectangle, Lucy's not far behind. Oh, because they got to block everything out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure the place is going to smell like patchouli as well. Oh, my gosh. Anything's possible with Lucy. Hey! <sighs> right? And Markel needs a rose. I know. Well, I don't we'll know see. what's going to happen. We'll see if he eventually gets one. That's our time for today. You can follow us on Twitter at did the letter U watch it. You can also find us at iTunes. Let us know what you think. Thank you for listening.